हेलो अगेन इन दी मनी वाई एस माई सेल प्रवेश वर्ष और आज मैं लेके आया हूँ एक कंसेप्ट सीरीज में एक नया टॉपिक विच इज़ आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द यू पी एस एग्जाम एंड द टाइटल इज अथॉरिटी वर्सिस पावर वट इज़ अथॉरिटी वट इज़ पावर वी हैव सीन ऑफन दैट दीज टू टर्म्स आर यूज इंटरचेंजेबली बट देर इज अ थिन लाइन ऑफ डिफरेंस अमंग द बोथ सो वी विल लुक इन टू दैट एंड दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू जॉइन द इंडियन पॉलिटी मॉड्यूल ऑफ माइम आई एम गिविंग थ्री डेज फ्री ट्रायल इन दी अभी मनी वाई एस सो प्लीज हैव लुक ऑन दिस Now, what is the meaning of authority? It is defined as a legitimate power, right? The meaning of authority versus power. Power is something different, and authority is something different because authority is power, which is a legitimate power, which is justified on the basis of rules, conventions, constitution, and so on and so forth. Then, power is the ability to influence the behavior of others, and authority is the right to do so, which simply means that power. Unilaterally takes the actions to change the behavior of someone, but authority has the right to do so in a justifiable manner. Then, it is based on an acknowledged duty to obey rather than on any form of coercion or manipulation. So, it simply means that power is dealing with coercion and manipulation, but authority is not dealing with this. Authority is basically telling something in a very legal, rational manner. then authority is a power clogged in legitimacy or rightfulness so the time we are writing the exam and any question comes of the authority whether it is a pulse is optional also so we can imbibe the same terms legitimacy rightfulness constitutionalism rationalism all are the features of authority then there are three kinds of authority based on the different grounds of obedience because authority or the power their main the main maksad and their main aim is to get obedience of the society is to get obedience into the civil society which comprises of number of things then what are these different forms of authority so first is traditional authority which is rooted in the historical legal experiences then charismatic based on the personality of individuals we have seen that number of people have ruled number of decades in the world on the basis of their charismatic personality whether it is a hitler or whether it is a napoleon or whether number of other peoples right and legal rational stems from impersonal rules which is simply the modern rational legal rules which we have on which the entire world is running today so they are the new form and they are the most conventional they are the most recent form of um, authority which we are seeing in the current geopolitical context everywhere in the entire world so these are the different meanings and different terms which are associated with the word authority and the difference from the power now let's see what is power so power is the ability to achieve a desired outcome right it is seen as a power to do something so this this line is showing the negative concept of power which which is mean very very broad picture in which the power is something like to do whatever you wants to do so here the negative concept of liberty is the part of this definition of power which saying that you can do anything that you wants to do then this includes everything from the ability to keep oneself alive to the ability to government to promote economic growth so power is basically not an individualistic feature power is a communitarian feature also where in the individual life you can influence someone's behavior by using your power and in the government or in the economy you can use your power in the form of pressure groups like we see in the form of kwangos we see there are number of things and there are number of ways through which the power is exercised and this line is signifying that that the power is not just confined to the individualism power is confined to a number of things which is the economy sphere which is the government sphere which is the social sphere and so forth then it is the ability to influence the behavior of others in the manner not of their choosing which simply means that if there are two individuals person a and person b and person a is having power and person b is not having power so person a wants to do something for him he can easily do but if he really wants that the same kind of thing person b should also be doing even if he is not giving he is not consentful for that so using the power of person a the person a can influence person b to do that act as per his wishes and without the wishes of the person b so this is signifying that it is associated with the ability to punish or to reward because power which we see in the political context 
power is distributive and redistributive also power gives rewards power gives punishments as per the level of actions bring it close to the force or manipulation in contrast to influence because influence is done by the authority and influence is a term which is so which is signifying soft power and soft power which is based on the rationalism which is based on the toleration which is based on the understanding but instead of that the coercive and the force is the significance of the of the arm of the use of force by the any organization and in any individual so this much is the difference between the authority and the power so thank you so much i hope you understand well these two terms and their meanings comprehensively thank you so much we'll meet on the next day with the next topic thank you mm -hmm.